My name is Ernest. Here. So this is the head, and that's the tail, of course. 
Ik ook voor de tekst. Ja, hij stept op de tekst. En hij is is called uh, Pareto effect, uh, Power Law 2080 law. It comes from uh, Italian scientist uh, Pareto, who discovered that 20% of uh, Italian society owns 80% of wealth. If we look in this analogy, it would be something like 80% of whole customers buy 20% of stuff you have, and it sometimes accounts for 100% of profit. And this detail is the rest. So, where is the money? Money is here, in the uh, normal market, if we go to mall or something. Sometimes it appears there are red line, which makes the head bigger, so the shelf space are more, so they can provide more products, more diversity. If we look in uh, real life, there's a small grocery shop and there are shopping malls. In grocery shop, you have that small amount of products, and in the shopping mall, you can find really huge amount of products. But as they are different, it's really like if you go in some niche markets, or for example, you are looking for kitchen knife, there won't be too many kitchen knife shops in one shopping mall. Kitchen knives are somewhere here, really small amount. What are the other factors we achieve from Location. A uh, store has its impact zone. When I was young and dumb and I was playing computer games, I had a game, it was a uh, pizza maker or something, and uh, it was really good uh, example. You open the pizza place and uh, it shows the circle around it, and as impact zone from where you will get the people to come. And uh, as I was developing that pizza place, the impact zone got bigger. For example, that grocery shop has really small impact zone. The shopping mall uh, has huge impact zone. Ability to find. So there are places with, like shopping malls, they say, they can provide a lot of stuff, but you have to find it, tools to find. You don't, you not always know where to look. What do I want and what do I need? This is especially for music market, for movies, for the stuff which are media. Uh, you are given some kind of content which you just consume because it's given to you. Uh, as we remember in Soviet times, uh, I suppose most of people here know Soviet times. There was music only in uh, this side of the iron cotton. And uh, we didn't know other music and there was some kind of junkies who were looking the way to get the, uh, the spinning stuff, the vinyl plates because they, they help somehow discover that music. But the most of people just listen to the classic Kirkorov uh, or stuff like that, because that was given, and you choose from that thing. But that's not your taste, that's the taste what's, give, what's given to you. Now, what happens online? No geographical boundaries. That's one of the best things, and you all know that. Uh, it provides, it lets you just access a huge amount of people. And that's niche market opportunities. Uh, if you imagine that you are selling something unique, one thing, and you have really small place where you do that, for example, uh, some small town in Latvia, there won't be critical ma mass uh, that will consume that stuff. But if you go online, you can reach plenty of people, and most of them won't buy that stuff. For example, maybe 1% will buy that stuff, but it appears that online that 
small amount of stuff, people uh, are 100,000. So if you get one lap from everyone or one euro, it's nice money for one month. Custom tools to find something. Uh, on internet, you can give plenty of description of one stuff, one one thing, one good. It doesn't matter what it is. Is it some kind of physical product, or is it song, or is it movie, or is it just recommendation system for something? And one of the tools are folksonomy for categories. You know the tags, which are mostly used inappropriate, not, not where they have to be, and the two, the way they should be. Collaborative filtering for suggestions. Collaborative filtering, that's the technology which is used, uh, for example, Amazon. It's something like, I bought this, but maybe you like this, this, and this. It's algorithm, uh, which is something like correlation algorithm. If somebody has studied mathematics, statistics, you know the thing. Uh, in a really simple example, it's like, I, I have bought three stuff, three, three things, and uh, Marx has other three slings, but then we have two slings which differ. So the system can provide both of us and say, wow, you are pretty similar guys, maybe you like this. <laughs> <laughs> Communities for reviews. For reviews. Uh, you all know Internet Movie Database, and uh, I'm, I'm, I was using it for some long time to see is it movie good or bad or something. Well, then I found movie lens, which is one step up and it's collaborative filtering. And it's not like, well, the average average score for this movie is 7.5, decide you want it or not. And I'm just, okay. Collaborative filtering, like movie lens, I'm looking for a movie and I find a movie and it says, well, average users say it's 7.5, but for you it's two stars. I'm just okay. I'm looking for another one. Now, what happens with this nice graph online? Money is here. Because yeah, uh, on on online, you can reach 80% of the whole product. It's that you can take less money, but the amount is so, so big that you can really earn money on it. And if we look for examples, Amazon is one of the best. It's like, it's the, they can sell here Harry Potter, um, Lord of the Rain, Bible, but here they can sell all the small stuff, which is consumed by really small amount of people, but it accumulates here, uh, and it's 80% of all the buyings, and here it's just 20. So the money lies here. Graph change sit forms online, as you can give more tools for people to move from head to tail. It appears that the head gets lower, smaller. It, sometimes 10% on some uh, music portals it's getting even smaller like 1-2% because people can find stuff they really like not only k pop they can find Afro-Cuban jazz thing which is with something like rock and hip hop mixture and it's somewhere here but it appears that you are the individual you are a unique person who likes that so you are ready to consume that and it gets like this, that drop. Money is here. <laughs> so, and then you got that, my top 10. And uh, as we can see here, there are some movies we know. This is from the Flickr user, Tracy Todd 112. And, uh, I know some movies from here, but I don't know a long time spider. 
Oh no, it doesn't move it. That will come. Can I just bite it? Can I just bite it? Oh, great. So, that's the top ten for this user, and it's unique. It's all. It's not like I like the most I like Spider Man or something. It's like this Spider Man is only here. Spider -Man. I think that's it for me, for this presentation. Any questions, discussions? Everybody is in shock. <laughs>